Hey guys, let's we're gonna start another trivia show here in a little bit when we get some people to join up. Hope everyone had a great weekend. It was my birthday. It was nice. We went out to eat. Uh, I had a nice mellow day today watching football. My fantasy football team is pretty much in tough shape as of now. We got a couple people join. Hey, Elisa, welcome, much love. Thanks for the wonderful dinner last night. And let's get some more people joining up and then we'll start this off. Thanks again to Funktiquities for letting me use their music and thank you to everyone who wished me happy birthday. We got a couple more people joining up. I love you too, Elisa. You're the only one here right now, so let's we'll wait a little bit and get some people joined up. It's finally cooling down out here a little bit in Arizona. It's been real hot. We'll give it a couple minutes to get people joined up. I think I'm going to start doing shows at venues again soon, so I'll let you all know when that happens. Just got a couple people here, so we'll start in a moment. Hey, Wes, thanks for crashing the party. Hey, John, welcome. We'll start this show in just a little bit. Why don't we get going right now with just a couple people? <clears throat> Let's start. Question one, anybody here would probably know this. In which U.S. state is the London Bridge located? Again, that was in which U.S. state is the London Bridge located? And again, thank you all for wishing me a happy birthday. I truly appreciate it. And thank you all for hanging out. Again, that question was, hey, Yvonne. That question was, in which U.S. state is the London Bridge located? I know what you meant, Yvonne. Well done, correct. Nevada is very close. I think it's kind of in the middle. Hey, David, yes, you are correct. Well done. And again, thanks to Punktiquities for letting me use their jams. Hey, Kyle. Well done, well done, Wes, well done, Kyle. Again, that question was, in which U.S. state is the London Bridge located? And the answer is Arizona, right here. Next question. What is the largest type of shark? Again, that was, what is the largest type of shark? And if anybody's able to tip, it's super appreciated. On Venmo, um, Kevin McMahon 83. All the other ways to tip are listed above. And again, that question was What is the largest type of shark? Well done, Yvonne. Well done, Kyle. Well done, Wes. Again, that question was. What is the largest type of shark? Great White's a big shark, but not the biggest. Good guess, David. And that question was, what is the largest type of shark? The answer is whale shark. Next question. What was the name of the van that the Scooby-Doo gang drove around in? And that was, what was the name of the van that the Scooby-Doo gang drove around in? Everyone's doing great. Well done, Janelle. Welcome, Janelle. Again, that was, what's the name of the band that the Scooby-Doo gang drove around in? Well done, Wes. Well done, Kyle. Hey, Demetria. 
It was not the Scooby van. Thanks, Janelle. It was a great birthday. I appreciate that. Yeah. Again, that question was, what was the name of the van that the Scooby-Doo gang drove around in? It was called the Mystery Machine. Always solving mysteries. Next question. What do you call a group of crows? Again, what do you call... Hey, thanks, Demetria. Again, that question was, what do you call a group of crows? Correct, Kyle. Well done. Well done, David. Well done, Wes. I kind of like questions like that, like, what do you call a group of a number of different animals that have very, very, very interesting names for a grouping? Again, the question was, <clears throat> what do you call a group of crows? The answer is a murder. Next question. What sport did famous criminal John Dillinger play professionally? Again, what sport did famous criminal John Dillinger play professionally? It's finally cooling down here in Arizona. Well done, David. Well done, Yvonne. Well done, Kyle. Well done, Wes. I forget what team he played for, but <clears throat> I think it was like, <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember, but I think it was like not super pro, like it wasn't the Yankees, but it was a paid position. And again, that was, what sport did famous criminal John Dillinger play professionally? And that was baseball. Next one, what is the tallest mountain in the USA? Again, what's the tallest mountain in the United States of America? Thank you all for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And thank you all for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate that as well. And the question again was, what's the tallest mountain in the USA. Well done, Kyle. Over the years, I think it's changed its name. Mount Whitney is the uh, tallest in the uh, continental. Well done, David. That's the other name. It really has had two names over the years. And the question again, what is the tallest mountain in the US? And the question was, what's the tallest mountain in the USA? And the answer is Denali or McKinley. It has, like I said, changed its name over the years. Next question. For what cause was the phrase, don't mess with Texas started? Again, that is, for what phrase, or for what cause was the phrase, don't mess with Texas started. I'm going to keep doing this on Sundays for sure. I really enjoy it. But I think I'm going to correct David. I think I'm going to open up a few other avenues coming up in the near future. The question again was, for what phrase, for what cause was the phrase, 
Don't mess with Texas started. It's quite a popular phrase now, but it was started for a cause. And that was, for what cause was the phrase, don't mess with Texas started? And that was anti-littering. And the question was, for what cause was the phrase, don't mess with Texas started? And the answer was anti-littering. Next one, what is a human being's largest organ? Again, what is a human being's largest organ? Well done, Kyle. Well done, David. Well done, Wes. Again, the question, what is a human being's largest organ? <clears throat> and that question was, what is a human being's largest organ? The answer is skin. I'm always going to keep thanking Punctiquities for their music. Next one. Who was the first artist to perform at the first Woodstock? Again, who was the first artist to perform at the first Woodstock? I'm watching some football today. The way I drafted my fantasy football team seems like I had no idea what I was doing. Looks like some stuff opened up on the waiver wire, though. And now back to the question. Who was the first artist to perform at Woodstock? Well done, David. question was, who was the first artist to perform at Woodstock? And that was Richie Havens. Next one. Who was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize? Again, who was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize? I remember the story, right? She did a lot of work with her husband. The question was, who was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize? Famous scientist. Hey, Chris. Well done, Chris. Correct. Well done, David. Question was, who was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize? And that was, who was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize? And it was Marie Curie. Next one. What U.S. state has the most representatives 
in the U.S. House of Representatives. Again, what U.S. state has the most representatives in the U.S. House of Representatives? Hold on, David. Hold on, Kyle. It was what U.S. state has the most representatives in the U.S. House representatives. Well done, Wes. Well done, Chris. Again, that was what U.S. state has the most representatives in the U.S. House of Representatives. And the answer is California. Next one. What is Tiger Woods' real first name? Again, that is, what is Tiger Woods' real first name? videos of him doing putts like when he was like four. <clears throat> Again, that was, what is Tiger Woods' real first name? Tiger is not his real first name. Yep, it's not Tiger. Well done, Chris. And that was. What is Tiger Woods' real first name? And the answer is Eldrick. Eldrick Woods. Next one. What organization owns the most land in New York City? Again, that was what organization owns the most land in New York City. When I looked this up and wrote it, I thought I knew the answer. And I, the answer has changed over the last few years. Because one organization sold a lot of their land or donated it. But the question is, what organization owns the most land in New York City? If anybody's able to tip, it's appreciated. Bureau of Land Management is a great guess, but that is not correct. Not River Bay, another good guess. If anybody's able to tip, it's appreciated. I'm Ben Moe, I'm Kevin Dash from Band-83. Rest of the ways is on top of this feed. And the question was, what organization owns the most land in New York City? It used to be the Catholic Church. But the question was, what organization owns the most land in New York City? The answer is Columbia University. Next question. If a plant flowers every two years, what is the general name for it? Again, if a plant flowers once every two years, what is the general name for it? I remember in Hawaii, there was a flower that, or a plant that flowered like once every something crazy, like 40 years. Big deal. But this one's only once every two years. 
and it is if a plant flowers once every two years, what is the general name for it? Yep. Correct, David. Correct, Kyle. Perennials close, but not correct. And that question was, if a plant flowers once every two years, what is the general name for it? Hey, Brett. The question was, if a plant flowers once every two years, what is the general name for it? And the answer is, it is a biennial, biennial flower. Next question. What is the heritage of the man who designed the White House? Again, what is the heritage? What was the heritage of the man who designed the White House? And thank you all for hanging out. And thanks to Funktiquities for allowing me to play their jam. Not English, but a really good guess. Not Greek, also a good guess. I could see how with the pillars and stuff, that would seem to be correct, but it is a different heritage. Hey, Sally, welcome back. And the question was, what was the heritage of, a man, of the man who designed the White House? Not Greek, but that is a good guess, and I could see how people would think that due to the pillars. <clears throat> and the question was, what was the heritage of the man who designed the White House? <clears throat> And that question was, what was the heritage of the man who designed the White House? And the answer is, he was an Irishman. Next question. Which, which explorer was killed on a Hawaiian island on Valentine's Day? Again, which explorer was killed on, an, on a Hawaiian island on Valentine's Day. Not this last Valentine's Day, it was quite a while before it was a state. Obviously, he was an explorer. Correct, David. Well done. And that question was, which explorer was killed on a Hawaiian island on... Valentine's Day, and the answer was Captain James Cook. There's a few answers to this next one, but the question is, name two famous solo musical artists who performed at Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. Again, that was named two famous solo musical artists who performed at Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech.
I have one, two, three, four, five of them written down. Or typed, actually, but, or, yeah, typed. Well done, David. Both of those are correct. The question was, name two famous solo musical artists that performed at Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. Name two famous solo musical artists who performed at Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. Belafonte was not one of them, but that's a heck of a guess. Again, the question was, name two famous solo musical artists who performed at Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. And a few of them are Bob Dylan, Joan Baez, Mahalia Jackson, Marian Anderson, and Odetta. This one I found interesting when I ran across it. I find them all interesting, but this one was a little off the wall. What is the only Western European country without a McDonald's? There's only one without a McDonald's. They're like everywhere, but one. What is the only Western European country without a McDonald's? And that was, what is the only Western European country without a McDonald's? Portugal has one, but good guess. Well done, David, that is correct. The reason this one doesn't is with the way they they had a, a big recession and they imposed some rules where it cost a lot to import food and it cost too much to import the food needed for McDonald's. And the question was, what is the only Western European country without a McDonald's? Hey, Connor, welcome. Well done, Connor. Good, good job. I almost swore. And that was, what is the only Western European country without a McDonald's? And the answer is Iceland, because it costs too much money to import the food needed for McDonald's. Next one. Who is the only person to be a U.S. president and serve on the Supreme Court? Not at the same time, but have both positions in their life. Who is the only person to be a U.S. president and serve on the Supreme Court? And again, thank you all very much for the birthday wishes yesterday. And if anybody's able to tip, it's super appreciated. On Venmo, I'm Kevin Dash McMahon Dash 83. And the rest of the ways are listed above. And the question was. Who is the only person to be a U.S. president and serve on the Supreme Court? Well done, David. That is correct. Jefferson's a great guess. I used to remember who was the first person appointed to the Supreme Court, but right now it doesn't come to mind. And that was, who's the only person to be a U.S. president and serve on the Supreme Court? And the answer is Taft. Taft served in both positions. Next question. What was the name of Teddy Roosevelt's volunteer cavalry during the Spanish-American War? Again, what was the name of Teddy Roosevelt's Volunteer Calvary during 
the Spanish-American War. I think they did a lot of their fighting on an island. And the question was, what was the name of Teddy Roosevelt's volunteer cavalry during the Spanish-American War? Well done, Connor. That is correct. Well done, Wes. Well done, David. Again, the question was, what was the name of Teddy Roosevelt's volunteer cavalry during the Spanish-American War? And the answer is, they were called Rough Riders. <clears throat> Next question. <clears throat> what quarterbacks have won both the Super Bowl and the national championship in college as a starter? Again, what quarterbacks have won both the Super Bowl? There's two. What quarterbacks have won both the Super Bowl and the national championship in college as a starter? They both have the same first name. Brett Favre, I don't know, I think he played for like Mississippi. Peyton Manning is a good guess. But I don't think he won it with Tennessee. Both have the same first name, and his first name, Wes, Connor, and myself, had him help us out a bunch like a month ago, or during that month. Namath is one of them. Not Theismann, but Namath is one of them. Again, the question was, what quarterbacks have won both the Super Bowl and the national championship while in college as a starter? And the answer is Joe Montana and Joe Namath. Next question. What part of the brain is concerned with the production of speech? Flacco, where did he play? I think he played for like Delaware. But it was Joe Montana and Joe Namath. <laughs> yeah, no, not Flacco. And I do think he played for like Delaware or something like that. Well done, Connor. I think we learned a lot about that part of the brain. Again. Yep. And that question was, what part of the brain is concerned? Yup. He did, David. <laughs> Depends on the man, Kyle. Again, that question was, what part of the brain is concerned with the production of speech? And that is the BRCA area in the frontal lobe. Next question. What U.S. state whose license plate reads, live free or die, has their license plates made by prisoners. Again, what U.S. state whose license plates read, live free or die, has their license plates made 
by prisoners. Again, thank you all for hanging out. It is my birthday weekend, so I enjoy doing this and I appreciate y'all being here. Well done, Connor. You were just up in that area. Not Massachusetts, good guess though. Not Delaware, also a good guess. And again, if any, well done, Wes. Again, that question was what U.S. state whose license plate reads, live free or die, has their license plates made by prisoners, and that is New Hampshire. Again, if anybody's able to tip, it's really appreciated. I'm Venmo, I'm Kevin Dash McMahon Dash 83. And the rest is listed above. Here's the next question. What was the lowest grossing film at the time of its nomination to ever win the Best Picture Oscar? And this was adjusted for inflation. Again, that question was, what was the lowest grossing film at the time of its nomination to ever win the Best Picture Oscar? And again, this was adjusted for inflation. Wizard of Oz is a great guess. I think that was the first one. Well done, David. I think Wizard of Oz, I think it was the first one that used color. Well done, Wes. And that was, what was the lowest grossing film at the time of its nomination to ever win the Best Picture Oscar? And the answer is Hurt Locker. It had a limited release, and so it didn't have a ton of money. It's in its pockets when it got nominated for it. And the next question is, in what year did Disneyland open? Again, it is, in what year did Disneyland open? Nineteen forty eight is a great guess. It was a little bit after that. For sure. Wes, I agree. A little after nineteen fifty two and after nineteen fifty one. I remember those old cartoons. Again, that was it was in the nineteen fifties. In what year did Disneyland open? Well done, Wes. Dead on. A little after 53. Connor. Again, that question was, in what year did Disneyland open? The answer is 1955. I want to thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you have a great upcoming week. Thank you all for the happy birthday wishes. If anybody's able to tip, it's appreciated. All the ways listed are above this feed. I hope you all have a peaceful, peaceful, peaceful evening. Take care. Thank you very much. Much love.